Hey there, do one thing a day that makes you happy. This year I'm doing a project or a journey and a journal along with the book that's called Do One Thing a Day That Makes You Happy. Last year I did Do One Thing a Day That Makes You uh, Scared. Oh, I've already forgot the title of it. I've done it every day and I can't remember. Oh, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. Last year I did that as a journal book in order to stretch my comfort zone and get comfortable with doing one little thing a day to, to move me out of the rut that I've been living in and into a better, more comfortable, more confident position, um, just in my life and in, in things in general. And so this year I decided and I realized at the cabin that they had this other book called Do One Thing a Day That Makes You Happy. They also have one that says Do One Thing a Day That Inspires You, but that one's a little bit more difficult because it's more drawing and actions and activities that you have to do. So it's a little harder to share the activities in it. So even though I'd gotten that one because I wanted that to be my my next year's project, I wanted to be inspired this year, I ended up <coughs> switching to and my sister bought me this book, Do One Thing a Day That Makes You Happy. Because this goes along better with the how I did last year, how I did the Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. And I think that our overriding mission and purpose in life is to be happy and to find joy in everything that we do. And what better way to do that than to consciously choose every single day to find a way to be happy. So today's, let's go ahead and take a peek at it. It's what I call a sayings day. It says New Year's Day is every man's, and I changed that to woman's or person's in parentheses, birthday. New Year's Day is everybody's birthday. It can be everybody's birthday. And Charles Lamb said that. And our challenge today says how I started a happy new year. Now, it's the third already today. It's a couple of days after New Year. But it doesn't matter because here's the message and the thing that we always forget. At least I know I forget. New Year's Day doesn't have to be the only day that we reinvent ourselves, that we tell a new story, that we become a whole new person. We can make that choice absolutely any time we want, any moment that we want. And the moment that we make that choice everything changes. So how did I ring in the new year? What did I do to celebrate my new birthday? And I don't usually do New Year's resolutions and stuff, but this year I actually made four resolutions for myself. And they're in a line with my goals, so they really fit for me. One of those was to do affirmations every single day. Now I do affirmations every day anyway. Actually, I do affirmations every day. I have been for years, <clears throat> but they're not super effective. I've known about and taught people how to do F formations for, yikes, like almost a decade. So why am I not doing them every day myself? So I wrote, I actually wrote up my F formations for this year. I'm going to show you that I'm doing them. And I, I read them every day, every morning as I'm getting ready in the morning. I just had them because I was just reading them. Um, I do a lot of things in notebooks. I write everything down. I think there's power in writing things down and that we need to do more of that. Um, so, oh, here's my resolutions. And here are my affirmations. And I do an affirmation for each major area of my life. Financial, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, relationship, and contribution. Why do I use those categories? I don't know, because somebody told me those were the categories that were most important to us and that we needed to pay attention to them. And it made sense to me at the time, so I just adopted that as, okay, those are my seven areas that I want to make sure that I try to create some sort of attention to in my life. I have spent, as most of us have, certain times in my life where I pay no attention to different aspects of myself. For example... In my 30s and 40s, when I was raising my kids, I did not take care of me, my physical being, my physical body, my physical being. I didn't eat right. I didn't get anywhere near enough sleep. I was under way too much pressure and stress, which I put myself under um, because we always do, even though we don't think it at the time. Um, and I didn't take care of myself physically. And that actually caused me to die at age 50. And I'm still here. So obviously it didn't stick. But it also taught me an incredibly important lesson about if we don't have our physical well-being and our health, we don't have anything. So we better take care of ourselves first. It's the, like the old adage, you can't love anybody else until you love yourself first. And the reason that's an old adage is because it's so true. We have to take care of ourselves in order to take care of other people. We have to take care of our businesses in order to share with other people. We have to take care of our health, our physical bodies, our emotional, our spiritual, and our mental well-being in order to be the, a, a cup that can give and pour to other people. That was a really weird analogy. So 
affirmations. The other thing I'm doing every morning and every night is actually writing down things that I appreciate and I'm grateful for. Again, another thing I've taught people for decades, but I I come and go whether I do it or not. I always do the mental part of it, but I haven't been writing it down. So this year, I'm going to resolve to testing the power of writing things down and proving it to myself. Um, I'm doing this happy everyday project. And I'm thinking as part of our birthday, when you're born, you get a new name, right? I need a name for this project. Last year, I just made up the Daily Scare Share. I just made it up. De definitely wasn't a great name. I'm sure there's a better name. I could probably have a contest for renaming that. But what I'd like to do is get some input from you. What do you think we should call this? Is it a, a happiness project? That's been used before. Um, all I could think of today was Happy Everyday Journey, which is H-E-D-G, which is like hedge like a hedge fund. I don't know. So I think I obviously need some help in the creativity department about what should we call this? We're going to be together 365 days journaling and making ourselves happy, doing something every single day to make us happy. So what would be a good name for this? What's a great name for this project and this initiative? I want it to come from you because the project is as much for you as it is for me. Okay, selfishly, it's for me too, because I believe and I want to prove it to myself that by doing something every day to appreciate and be happy, that it will make a positive impact on my life and on the lives of those I come in contact with and around everybody around me. Um, and I, this is just a huge reminder that we can create whatever we want in our lives. And we don't have to wait for New Year's. We don't have to wait for our birthday. We don't have to wait for anything or any milestone because the only time we can really affect any kind of a change in our life is right now. So right now, let's decide that we're going to be happy. We're going to do this happiness initiative. We're going to, maybe it could be initiative, heady. Happy everyday initiative. I don't know. But let's, let's think of a name for it. Let's be reborn today. Let's decide that we're going to write the story of our life exactly as we want it to be. Not how it's been in the past. Maybe not how it is right now in some areas or aspects of our lives, but exactly how we want it to be because we are the authors of our own story. We are always adding to our own story. We are always creating our life in what we think and what we do and how we act and what we believe right now. What we believe right now is creating our future. What we've believed in the past is creating what we has created what we are experiencing right now. So if we want to affect our future, all we have to do is change what we're doing, what we're feeling, what we're thinking about, how we're behaving, and the story we're telling ourselves right now. So let's all start writing our own fascinating story together through this happiness initiative, project, journey, journal, whatever we want to call it. Let's come up with a name, share in the comments below, because this Pajama Grandma would love to know. Oh, Pajama Grandma, Sharon Hornell from here. In case we haven't met, go ahead and put hashtag pajama and your idea for the name of this endeavor in the comments below. And I, of course, will be with you tomorrow. Bye. Be happy. You got this.